This is the VK3601H. It's a German tech tree tank found at tier six, and it's a heavy tank, and it's a really nice little tank. Do you know why it's a nice little tank? Well, this thing is still broken. And if you don't believe me, carry on watching. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fugit Split and today we're going to be looking at the VK3601H and you know what? This is a broken tank. Now it's very rare for me to say a tank is broken but why do I think this one is? Well first and foremost that's a tier 7 Tiger 1 and that's a tier 7 Smasher and I am bouncing both of them. I mean I've bounced 1400 here and I'm dishing out damage. Okay, I'm not dishing out shed loads of damage, but I am dishing out damage. More importantly, I'm bouncing these guys. I'm bouncing a smasher. This poor old smasher just cannot get anything through me. I managed to take out a smasher. I mean, if any tank in tier six is broken, it's this tank. And if you're not playing this tank, you should be scratching your head and say, why am I not playing this tank? because my win rate will improve and it will because it's just a broken tier six heavy now don't get me wrong i mean you, you can still go out and have horrendous games in this thing because if people now to can't come to you they will hurt you i have no idea where that shot went but thankfully i bounced him but the thing about this tank is this this tank can hold its own in tier 7, as you just saw, against a Tiger 1 and a Smasher. I mean, if you're lucky enough to get paired up in a tier 5 game, then you're really not going to struggle in this thing. And if you're tier 6, like I'm here, then it's a cakewalk, effectively. I mean, you're not going to struggle in its tier or in tier 5. And in fairness, if you know what you're doing, and you know how to angle it, and you know where its armor is, you're not really gonna struggle in tier eight and uh, tier seven either. Now, okay, it does have some downsides. One, it has no HE ammunition, as you can see. It's got AP and APCR. Two, it doesn't dish out oodles amounts of damage, which is a bloody good thing, because then it would be OP, not just broken. And the armor, if you overangle it or you get it wrong, then yeah, you can be smacked around a bit, as you can see there. I mean, side on, that Cromwell has no problem penning me. But the thing about this tank is it's broken. And I, I, I'm going to probably use the word broken a lot in this video because, in fairness, this tank is. I mean, the ability to roll around the battlefield like this and face off against the likes of Smashers and Tiger Ones and bounce them and hurt them in a tier six teeny weeny heavy tank is, well, you know, daft, to be perfectly honest with you. And like I said, if you haven't played this tank for a while, you really need to dust it off and get it out there because once you reacquaint yourself with this thing, you too will discover that it's still a broken tank. Nothing has changed. It's not been power creeped. Nothing around it has been hurt. It holds its own against smashes and even annihilators, funnily enough. And as I said, once you get into tier five, then, you know, the world is your oyster. No one, and I mean no one, is going to give you a hard time. I mean, this Cromwell gave me a hard time, but if you get up close and personal like that, he's not got a hope in house chance. Now, I admit, I've not set the world on fire. I've only bounced 600, I've only dished out 1600, but I don't care because the idea of the game is to win. And with this tank in your garage, the chances of you winning, if you know how to play the darn thing, greatly increases. We get a second class there. We get a shed load of credits as well, which was nice. And, you know, it's just a beautiful tank to play. Well, I'm gonna show you one more game to really, really hit home how broken this tank is. So this is me on Himmelsdorf, the flattest map on the planet. And as you can see, it's a tier six, tier five game. Hmm, I'm thinking, 
maybe, just maybe, we have an advantage. And we do, because we have me in this tank. Now, I'm not saying that me, as a player, am super duper unicorn status. I'm not. But in this tank, in this tier, I'm going to be able to give these guys a hard time. How dare you, Matilda BP, smack me. I'm going to rush onto you and you're going to dish out your 80 odd and then I'm going to bounce you and then I'm just going to continue angling up to you. Try it, or you get my side, but it's okay because I'm just going to give you a tough time. Keep angling and over angling and bouncing and bouncing. I bounce 400. Is poor Matilda BP hasn't got a chance against me. Now I'm just going to continue my relentless roll round. Hello, KV. We saw you in another game, and we're just going to pop shots into you because why not? I, mean, I haven't got the best pen, I haven't got the best damage, but hey, I've got a decent reload, and I'm going to be able to smack you from behind quite easily. No problems whatsoever. I'm not interested in you, Excelsior. I want the KV2. And there we go. So, I've now done what? 1100 damage, bounce 540. And look at my team. My team is being whittled slowly, slowly down. It's now two against five. But don't despair because I'm in a VK36H. Pretty straightforward stuff. So KB2, I'm going to give you a hard time still. And Excelsior, I'm tempted, but no, KB2 misses because Russian gunner and that gun. And as you can see, I'm just whittling down and bleeding them slowly, slowly. KB2 gets out of the way. Here comes an ARL. Hello. Yeah, smack you as well. Oh, bouncy, bouncy. Now bounce just over a thousand damage. Still two against five. Now the Excelsior is pushing me. Blair Sim. Now it's four against two. And I'm still just going to sit on this corner. Hopefully now the KV2 will present. Yes, he does. He doesn't. I don't bounce him, but hey, that's not a problem. He's, uh, he's tracked me, but hey, no worries. I can. He's got a longer reload than me. I can get around the corner and smack him and kill him, and he's deaded. Now it's three. Now it's two against two. And that's just a bad shot. And now it's two against one. And they're both tier five. Rub my hands in glee as I start angling and moving backwards, knowing they're really going to struggle. And look at this. I mean, bouncy, bouncy. Now we've done 2,000 on damage, bouncy, bouncy still. Okay, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get smacked, but trying to get the tank round. It is a bit slow, but once it's round, then you can angle again, and this poor Excelsior is just gonna have a bad, bad day. So where's he gonna pen? Well, nowhere. Why? Because I'm in a VK 3601H. That is how broken this tank is. Okay, we only get a first class, but I don't care. Close to 3,000 damage in a tier six. Broken? Well, I'll let you decide. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been my take on the VK3601H. Still a broken tank and still one you should be rolling out with and really putting pay to your enemies. By all means, comment and everything below. Um, I'd like to say a big shout out to my Patreons and YouTube members. Without you guys, these videos would be a lot harder to make. But also to my subscribers, because without you guys, these videos would be pointless. Remember, if you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.